That's right. Gary, I'm gonna go to France. With 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 or without your blessing. Because I feel this is an opportunity. Went into the meeting, not expecting just just for him. Went to the meeting just to talk about the previous season, how we did, and how we're going to improve next year, and what he has plans for the next year. If we're going to bring in new players or, or whatever. Yeah, so I went into the meeting thinking that we're just going to be talking about how the season went, what he expects from me the next year, how we thought I performed this year, and I'd, like just just a general chit chat. So basically, it was just a, it was just like a like a monthly or year to year meeting with yeah, um, yeah. individual players yeah, or group yeah. players yeah, to, yeah. to 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 talk about how their performance levels yeah. was how yeah. they thought they would go on and mm. stuff like that yeah yeah exactly but to my surprise i went in there and guy peter said um he wants to how can i put it he said he doesn't see me in his plan for the next season so I'm just sitting there with my mouth open like did those words just come out come out of his mouth. Because at the end of the day, I thought I was one of the best players going for Suju. I gave 110%. So basically you <coughs> felt like he was used for the moment. Gavin Not, did have love and trust for him, yeah. but but like you thought, wow, like, you know, I've got no plans in your future. Like, yeah, not 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 necessarily used because I just I just thought I was just shocked. I just couldn't believe that those words had come out of his mouth that he doesn't see me in his plans for ne next year. Mm. So I'm thinking, oh my God, here we go again. I'm going to be like, have to find another club. I'm going to have to get on the phone to my agent. I'm going to, because I had no intention of leaving Shrewsbury Town. Yeah. I was going to, I was happy to stay because we got so close to getting promoted mm. that we can go with the extra and go what up. What league was you lot in? What league was you lot in and was going to get promoted um, to? It was in league two. And we're gonna get promoted to League One. And that would have so, been that would have been that would have been a big achievement, and that would have yeah. been extra, extra um you know money in, in each of you's pockets, especially that'd, with the club as well. Yeah, that would have been a, a big achievement, and I was hoping that I'll get the chance to help Shrewsbury Town go up the following season. But it wasn't to be. He just told me, I know emotions are high or emotions are low, and the mood is low, and maybe you're speaking with emotion because he feels that. Maybe the players let him down in the playoff final, and maybe we did. I, I don't know if things would have been different if we got promoted, but he just felt a type of way that he doesn't need me for next season. So I thought, right, that's a, that's a re <laughs> that's a shock to me. So I said, okay, um, okay, no problem. And then he went on to say to me that um, a club, some few clubs are showing interest in me, mm -hmm. and. <clears throat> he's spoken to them and at the moment there's a club called Swindon Town who was in the league above they were in the front seat to, mm. to sign me really good team really good team they were in the front seat to sign me so I was like okay that's at least that's something it's not me having to <clears throat> go back to the drawing board and trying to figure out which team to play and you're staying so, in the second tier yeah no I'm, this is um, a league above Oh, no, but was, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but Sawsby was in second division. Yeah, yeah, we were in second division, so I would have been going to the league that you wanted to go yeah, to. You were promoted, in the, in the promoted yeah, to. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I said, do you know what? That wasn't my soul. That wasn't my intention. But since you don't want me, and another team is showing interest in me, I said, okay. Um, um, as money been as. What's, what's the situation? He said, oh, talks are still ongoing, but there's a few other clubs, but I feel in Swindon Town would be a good, a good look for you because your family is near Oxford and Swindon is not too far from Oxford. So I was, I was more than happy that at least if I did go to Swindon, I'd be close to um, your family, family and you'd be, you'd be in the well. UK borders as well. I'd be in the UK borders as well. Mm -hmm. So that was... That was ideal for me. It wasn't ideal for me because I love shoot, um, I love my time at Shrewsbury. But and then day he said I need to go and play somewhere else. So I had no. So had no so so um so niece, mm -hmm. right? 
you know, um, Gary Peters reveals a deal has been uh, finalized. So, when the deal has been was finalized, obviously you're searching for the club. You had the situation with um, Gary Peters. You, you you really wanted to stay in the UK. So how did Nice came aboard and you know said said look, we'll pay you fifty thousand. Um, Nice came in because I have a long history with Nice. People don't understand. The first time I had international duty when I played when I played for Ghana. And um, the first time I went to play for Ghana, we played a friendly game against Nice. Mm. Okay, and I remember that game. That was that was the previous season before when I was playing for Chester. All oh, right. I got my first international call up, which is unbelievable, amazing. Me too, getting international call up to play with like Intari, Asamoah Jan, Michael Essien, all these big superstars. It was like the real goofy. African footballers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It was like it was on, it was unreal for me. Big up to Asamoah Jan, man. Like if people don't know, he's a music artist as well. Baby Jess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was absolutely unreal for me. It was, it was a great, great um, moment for me. Yeah. We went to France and played against Nice, and I had an amazing. I had a great game. Everybody was talking. Everybody was talking like, "Why well, well, hasn't this player been um, selected for um, Ghana previously?" And blah blah blah. So that was my connection with Nice. So Nice kept tabs on me, and to all, and Nice kept tab, tabs on me. So I had a meeting. I had a phone call from an agent, in, in, a French agent. I had a phone call from a, um, a French agent who I spoke to that a, long, a long time ago. I think he tried to get me to go to Europe before, to go to um, Greece to sign for a Premier League club mm. in Greece. But I wasn't ready. I was scared to leave the UK. I thought the time wasn't right. Mm -hmm. But in hindsight, I should have went because that was a chance to play in the top league. He called me and said, Derek, remember you played against Nice? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that game for, for Ghana. He said, by the way, Nice have been keeping tabs on you and they want to sign you. So I was like, are you, are you kidding? <laughs> Where's this come from? Are you, are you kidding? Nice wants to sign you. He said, Derek, this is not a joke. I went, come on, Nice, they're in League, league, uh, league One. They play against Monaco, they play against PSG, they play against... Um, Bordeaux, Marseille, Marseille the players. It's, it's a big, it's a big league, and, and yeah. Nice is a big club, and they want to sign me. I, 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 could, I couldn't believe it. So I was like, I was a bit taken back. So I had to, I had to, I had to analyze everything. Had to, an, I had to analyze everything. Yeah. I had to like, okay, so this is great news. If Nice, Nice wants to sign me, then it's great. Because at the moment, swinging town. I in the seat, but if another team's coming into the race, it's only right that I go to have a look at this team, maybe go to speak to the team, because at the moment she really don't want me, so they've give, they've given their go ahead to speak to um, Swindon. So you went on trials with them, right? No, I didn't go on trials with, with, with Nice. All I wanted to do, it's just like any other, any other. I know Nice is a big club, and you shouldn't, I shouldn't need to go over there to to sign or anything. But at the end of the day, I wanted to make sure, because it's the first time I'm going to be away from, from England playing football. So I wanted to make sure it's the, it's, the right, it's, it's the right fit for me. So I went over and spoke to Gary Peters. I had a meeting with him and said, Gary, another team's coming in, into the race. Nice wants to sign me and I want to go, can I have permission? I want to go over there to check it out, to check out the city, to check out the club, to just make sure that I like it there. Do you understand? So I spoke to Gary Peters and to my surprise, he said to me, no, you're not going to, um, <laughs> you're not going to Nice. You're going to Swindon Town. Money's been agreed now and everything's almost done. You just have to go over there and sign. And I was like, hold on a minute. That's not right. What's going on? You're in my position, what would you do? A team from Nice, a team from Nice in the south of France, in the big league. Mind you, I've been playing in um, League Two, League One all my career. I've been playing football. No, it's not all about money, but having, if my career was to end that day, I have no substantial savings in the bank. I had, do you know what I mean? I had nothing, do you know what I mean? 
I was paid okay in Shrewsbury, but it's not life changing. You know what I mean? A niece wants to change my life. They mm. want to offer me the contract of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm pitching it up lifetime. And I've asked you to give me permission to go to to Nice to speak to them. And you'll flat out told me, no, I would never ever. This would be a totally different story. I'd have just said, okay, thank you, Piers. If you told me that you want me to stay in Shrewsbury, if you said that Derek, the trace is still the same, you're still my guy. Basically, he's like, hold you on your will, basically. Yeah, you're still my guy, Shrewsbury town. Um, you're still, do you know what I mean? I would, I, there's no way this conversation would have happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it would have been up to the club whether, if needs did come, whether they want to sell me or not. But you've already told me that you don't want me. You want me to go, you want me to sign for Sw um, Swindon. A deal has been agreed. When I haven't even seen any contract from Swindon, what they're going to offer me or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So I felt a bit um, a type of way about it. Gary Peters um, said he spoke to the the football league, mm. the FA and the PFA, mm. and they all said we were within our rights to sack him. Mm. Said Angry Peters. Mm. Angry Peters. Wow. <laughs> was, was, was Gary Peters is an angry man. Um, I, lo <laughs> I love Gary Peters, but sometimes he's a very angry man i can remember one instant where i got called up for my national team which is a huge deal for me come on national my country where i was born where come on. people love football black stars and man black stars are gone. come on i got called up for them for a, for a game against south korea and japan so it's a big deal for me and i'm so excited so happy i went into the office and he gave me the, i had I had the email or fax come through and he I was so happy he gave it to me and he gave me say congratulations for wow. what was that? What's going on? And I read an, 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 an article saying that about me getting an international call up and there was no, in that article, there was not nowhere Gary Peter said congratulations. All he said is he's going to miss three or four games um, for me and you're going to have to try and replace him. And for me, that just, come on. I'm playing for my country here. It's a big deal for me. It's a big deal for Shrewsbury Town as well. Because not many people have played international football while playing for Shrewsbury Town. Yeah. I thought he'd be happy. I thought he'd be putting out statements saying congratulations to Derek Asamoah. So that was a bit... But strange. at the same time, yeah, like, what, what, what he felt to realise is this will send sig positive signals to the rest of the players uh -huh. so they can fight harder to, to get international call-ups for their country if they're exactly. british they're british if they're from so I, I guarantee there probably be a lot of players who come from europe portugal yeah. who played in the team at the mm. time who couldn't get that break in their mm. national squad but for you to get that call up because even i remember one of the um, you played in, yeah it must be a friendly game mm. and and like the way you was playing and, and everything i could see i was like wow this is what i dreamed for mm. so for, for 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 your manager at the time mm. To not even show you no real gratitude and no mm -hmm. like do you know what go for it bro mm -hmm. type of thing i give you my blessing i go give you my blessing it. because cause, and then, then you could have went to, to the squad and said mm -hmm. yo squad like i've been fighting this for this all my life you can do this mm -hmm. yeah exactly it's, it's an incentive for everyone is you know what i mean so that that was just a story just to the background just to tell, tell you the nature of my relationship with gary peters which was which was okay which was good because he showed a lot of confidence in me but at the same time he was a very shrewd manager mm. and kind of like it's his way or the highway mm. do you know what i mean but going back to the to, to the, um to the story where he slammed me in the papers is because i'm not saying what i did was great and i'll never ever condone it and i'll never ever tell another player to do it but in, in that same article, he said he didn't know where I was. I told him in the change in, in that meeting, like Gary, I do not agree with what you're doing. You're holding me back. If Manchester United came in and wants to offer you a contract to go and manage them, you would want to go there. <laughs> Why are you holding me back? Yeah. This is an opportunity. Yeah. I respect that Swindon Town wants to, wants to sign me, and I, res uh, and I respect Shrewsbury enough that if you wanted to keep me, things would have done, been done a lot easier but you don't want me 
but yet you want to decide where I go. I don't think that's right. Gary, I'm going to go to France with, 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 with or without your blessing because I feel this is an opportunity for me and she'll be town, we'll be getting money. Yeah. Just like they'll be getting money if I go to Swindon. So what is the problem, Gary? Mm. So I packed up my stuff, I spoke to the agent and I said to the agent, listen, I can't come because the man just telling me that I, I can't. The agent um, said to me that, Derek, this is an opportunity. Sometimes as a player, you need to take risks. This is one of the times where you need to take risks. I promise you, it will work out. Because I wasn't comfortable with it. I was afraid, I was nervous. I didn't just pack my bag and be like, Do you know what, I'm um, um, I've got a big ego. Yeah. I'm gonna get my, I do what I want. No, I yeah. was terrified, I was nervous. I did not want to do it. Part of me was 50-50 whether to, to go or not. But at the end of the day, it was too great of a chance not to exercise this opportunity and go and see, go and speak to the manager of, of Nice, go and see what Nice was like. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So that's that's what um, Gary Peters went on to say that I went. What was it that I went a while? I was just yeah. He didn't know what I where I was. He wasn't. I wasn't picking up my phone or yeah. which is all lies because he knew he knew exactly where Stryker I was. Eventually went a well by going for a trial with French French top fighting mm. club three weeks ago uh, without gaining two or three permission. No, it was not a trial. <laughs> I went out there. Nice already wants to sign me. I've, see, I've seen the contract. I went out there. I've seen the contract. They already wants to sign me. And it was just um, back and forth between the two clubs. And even when I spoke to Gary Peters, I spoke to Gary Peters when I was in Nice on the phone, which there he was saying that he didn't have any contact with me. I spoke to him and he was like, we need to find a good story to, to, to tell um, the fans why I went to, why I had to go, I had to go to Nice. So Gary Peters knew exactly where I was and I did not go for a trial. Something crazy, I, I went there, I was sat in the hotel because I couldn't really, I was training and I was in, I was losing much fitness because the deal hadn't been done already. So Nee said, there's a game, there's a game that they want me to play in because I'm, um, the season's about to start soon. So I went and played in, in that game, which looked really bad because I, didn't, I hadn't signed for them and I hadn't, so it made it look like it was a trial, mm. which, um, um, which it wasn't. Right, you know what I mean? Because I will never put myself in that situation where I've got a club that wants to sign me and then go for trials without then the club's permission. Which I know if the trial went wrong, I'll be, be back. I'll be back and I'll be. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll do that. There was a contract um, there for me and it was just negotiating between the two clubs. So him saying I went a while really, really hurt me and it's really false and it put a bad light on my name. Do you know what I mean? It made, it made me seem like I'm ungrateful, I don't love the club, I don't respect the club, you know, and it was really, it was really painful for me yeah. to read, um, read the article yeah. that the PFA that support professional players were going to back Peters to hold my registration. Why would you want to hold my registration anyway? Why would you want to do that? Do you understand? So, I hope, I hope that, that kind of cleared up the point where he was slamming me, calling me selfish. He said I was as the most selfish player he's ever known and the club is better off without me. Mm. These were like words that that really, really hurt me. You know, that really hurt me. And he put all my hard work that I did for the club. I started reading like messages from message board from and I, and I was getting absolutely hammered in there. People were just like insulting me and people were calling me all sorts of things that were not true because of what Gary Peters put in the in their papers mm -hmm. you know like I said it wasn't the best way to leave but my hands were kind of tied and there was an opportunity for me to change my life I'm sure each and every one of the players if that's all opportunity come come on South of France Saint-Tropez Monaco you know what I mean? That's, 
it's, it's a holiday destination people pay a lot of money to it's a holiday destination for a lot of brits and i get to do the job i love there mm. in the french top division come on people what what, mm. what would you do all right we, so we heard um your side of the story um as as we as we know this was like a basically a burning situation um since 2007 um to me from from reading the article and even remembering somewhat what happened back then um i understand your point and i understand his point and i have to be in the middle to say obviously you obviously didn't want to be that person to be to be like a like a yo-yo just just, just yo-yoing up and down and you know like a bouncy castle just bouncing up and down to different clubs you know what i mean and stuff like that you wanted something um secluded um but obviously um the manager gary peters could have handled things a bit differently your morals would have been more of a high to me i i, I just feel say you, you know even listening to the story now properly um it was different listening to it back in 2007 to how it is now we're in 2020 um and right now like you know decisions are made you was going through stuff he was going through stuff you know we don't know how deep he was going through stuff but only thing i could say is if you had an opportunity mm -hmm. To sit down one on one with Gary Peters, mm -hmm. would you? And he said, and say he said yes, because we don't know what he would say, mm -hmm. right? Say we contacted Gary Peters, mm -hmm. we don't know, we don't know what club he may be at now or what, what he's doing now. But say we had the opportunity to sit down with Gary Peters mm -hmm. and 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 had and had a one on one talk with him. Mm -hmm. um, what would be the initial thing that you would like to say to him right now? What would you like to, you know, to, to, to clear the air, to, to break the ice, so in case you go to meet him face to face, that you can get to speak to him. What would you say to him right now, what you never had a chance or opportunity to say to him right now? Um, I would, I would, honestly, I would literally say,